Check Podcasts. Hi, I'm Bruce Williams. I'm the CEO of the Greater Victoria Chamber of Commerce. Welcome to Chamber Chats, coming to you as always from the podcasting studios here at the Czech Media Group. I'd like to begin as always by acknowledging that I live and work in the ancestral lands of the Lekwungen speaking nations known to us as Songhees and Esquimalt or Kosapsam, who have been the stewards of this land for generations millennia, really. Uh, This is all made possible by the support of Island Savings, a division of First West Credit Union, who are redirecting what banking can do for people, community, and the world. Speaking of redirecting things, that whole pandemic thing changed the way we do a lot of things, including the fact that we became a little more entrenched in the mobile world, whether it was delivery of food or getting things delivered to us from retail outlets. And there are some services that have also moved to become mobile, so that that service can come to you instead of you going to them. We're going to talk today about dentistry at your door. We're going to talk about having your vehicle detailed right where you live or work. But the first one, though, is with a company called Compass Mobile Massage. And Haley Masters and her mom operate that. Haley, how are you? Good, thanks. How are you, Bruce? Good, thank you. The cool thing about your service is that I've, I've, done, I've done massages and acupuncture and things like you guys offer, and you come out of it and you're relaxed and you're feeling great, but then you have to get in your car, get on your bike, or get on the bus and drive, and that just kind of brings some of the stress back. So tell me about the creation of this company. When and how did your mom do and you do this? Yeah, so we both had been working at a clinic in downtown Victoria, and like a lot of businesses, when the COVID shutdown happened, we had to stop working for two months. And in that two months, we realized that there were populations we were missing in the clinic space, and we thought we should launch a business that was fully mobile so we could go out into the community and find those people who we weren't seeing. Tell me about the name, Compass. Yes, so that's all my mom. She really wanted the logo and the name to represent or embody the fact that we do travel around, and she thought a compass was a perfect representation of us driving in all directions to find our patients. You're also a part of uh, the family business committee at the chamber. So operating within a family business is different than working from somebody else. So tell me about that dynamic. Yeah, it's really neat. My mother and I have a really great relationship and I think there's a huge benefit to knowing your business partner really well right, right away. So we were able to essentially split up our job duties, I think quite quickly and easier because we both knew our strengths and our weaknesses and what we wanted to do and what we did not want to do. So we really enjoyed that process and I get to see her a lot more, which is really fun. And I like that we get to have a business relationship as well as our our personal relationship. Yeah. So tell me about your client base. Who do you deal with? Yeah, we deal with a really wide range, which keeps things really exciting and challenging for myself and my team. So originally, we thought we were going to be focusing on some really specific populations, like individuals with neurological disorders, maybe CP or ALS, or maybe a brain injury, who would have a physical challenge getting to a clinic. But now we see so many different people, including a lot of new parents with babies at home and it's really challenging to get out of the house. Um, We do work with a lot of people who physically cannot um, make it out of their, maybe their home or their long-term care facility. Um, We go to the hospital, which is really lovely because sometimes we see people in a hospital bed just for a few days and other times we get to go to the hospice section and work with people with palliative care. So our range is quite broad and we're getting more and more broad with workplace visits and vacation rental visits and traveling to the Gulf Islands and Port Renfrew for requests. Well, that's very cool. So the convenience factor is really something, right? So that must be what people say all the time is, my gosh, you make this so easy. Yes, people are really busy and time is really valuable. And we're trying to save people time. That's our main motto is reducing time and location barriers. But time seems to be the real important one for people. So they really appreciate that we can just come to them give them their treatment and we go back in our car and they can just get right back to whatever it was that they were doing. Yeah. I mean, actually I brought you into the chamber, actually your company came in to do some, some stuff for our staff, which was pretty amazing. Mm. Um, So you physically take what you would normally have in a, in a permanent facility and take it on the road and go to people and it's massage, but it's more than massage. Tell me what else you offer. Yes. So we started off with just the two of us. We're both RMTs, myself and my mother. And then we had people request to join us because they thought what they offered would also be really helpful to be provided in home or at the workplace. So we now have acupuncture. We have personal trainers. 
a lot of our practitioners too, they have more than one specialty. So one of our RMTs is also a personal trainer. We have a somatic and yoga instructor now as well. And we have a Reiki healer. And we're actually looking at bringing on a nutritionist pretty soon as well. So what's the most common reason that you hear from people that say, I need you to see you because I need to see you because this, what is it usually? I would say it's this equal request of reducing pain and reducing dysfunction. So massage and acupuncture are our two main services. And both of those modalities are really fantastic in, in reducing pain and improving function overall, whether it's from a chronic situation or maybe it's from a motor vehicle incident and it's more acute. How often is it stress? People say, I just, I got to chill out here. I gotta, you got to help me. How often does that happen? Yeah. And that's been a really neat part of, about launching during the COVID shutdown is we really saw our practice shift to more. We were people's only social outlet for the first year of us in business, largely, which was really interesting. So a lot of stress, anxiety, depression, insomnia, because we get to spend an hour or more with our patients, it's a really special and unique situation. Not a lot of people have someone who shows up to care for them and they get that much time. So definitely, I would say stress and anxiety is definitely one of the main reasons. Yeah, for sure. And what your services offer are covered by health benefits too, right? Yes. Our registered massage therapists and acupuncturists are covered by healthcare, but a lot of our team members are now being covered by health spending accounts and other innovative ways that workplaces are finding to support their teams. Very cool. Well, Haley and her mom were uh, actually finalists and award winners in the Chamber Business Awards. So we're going to take a look at that video to end this off. Haley, thanks a lot. Take a look at this. Compass Massage Therapy is a mobile massage therapy and healthcare business that has a goal to access everyone anywhere where they're at. And we are a mother-daughter duo. We have a lot of fun together and our strengths really benefit the business because they are different. Since we started, it was just the two of us. And it seems like almost every month we have a new team member joining us. Just recently, we had five new team members join us this year. It's rare that someone, when they have a struggle, whether it's pain or dysfunction, it's rare that one thing will fully help them, so we'd love to offer them a variety of services so we can really tackle the whole problem. We go all over Oak Bay, out to the peninsula. We've expanded out to Souk. We've even gone as far as Port Renfrew. We find that going into people's homes or meeting them where they're at, maybe it's at their busy workplace, there's just this extra level of connection and people really open up. Yeah, it was really meaningful to like put words to why we started Compass because there are actually so many people in Victoria and the surrounding areas that just will not be able to access care and that made us feel sad. Chamber Chats today, we're talking about services that come to you instead of you going to them, which is something that kind of shifted a bit during the pandemic. Now we're going to clean your teeth. There's an organization in town called Wheelie Clean. They use wheels to get to you to clean your teeth. And Wheelie Clean's uh, head of hygiene is Zoe Brunet. Zoe, how are you? Good, thank you. Hi, how are you? Good. So, so you basically take this hygiene, dental hygiene service on there. Oh, I love your wallpaper, by the way, with the teeth on it in the background. Thank you. That's cool. So you're actually in the unit right now, right? Tell me about it. Um, yeah, we started it in 2019. Uh, we had one van at that point and just kind of had the idea to bring this to people who maybe, like Haley was saying, maybe won't access care or can't physically. Um, and then, yeah, we have been around Greater Victoria, Langford, up the peninsula as well. So from what I can see behind, that's a dental chair behind you, right? So this is like full yeah. up office in the, in the, the vehicle. Yeah. There it is. The chair and then. Sorry, this is a little bit. There yeah. we go. Everything you normally have in a regular dental clinic that you would go to physically, it's in here. There's a little bit of anxiety sometimes with people going to a dental facility. Um, this must be like a huge difference for those folks to think, oh man, I don't have to go to the office. They're going to come to me. Do you hear that? Yes. All the time. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Especially with kids or like families that just don't have to wrangle everybody into a waiting room. Um, we deal a lot with um, like children on the spectrum as well, and it's really nice to be able to just be one hygienist and one person in the van in your own driveway. It's great. Yeah. And you can go to workplaces too, I guess, right? You can go to home and to workplace. Yeah. yeah. 
workplace, school. I went down to the beach for people. It's yeah, it's really um, customizable, I suppose. Dental at the beach. How great is that? Okay, so somebody's watching this saying, "Yeah, I want to do this for sure." Walk me through how someone makes an appointment with you. Um, you can book online um, or call. Uh, you can send us an email too, I guess. Um, it's all very um, user friendly, which is nice. Um, it's usually quite easy to book in as well. Um, there's normally quite a bit of like wiggle room in the schedule rather than a lot of clinics are booked out for months and months and months. So easy to be with us. <laughs> yes. Uh, so how, how far in advance can we book with you or how, how soon can we book with you for that matter? You could book right away. <laughs> uh, normally when people are coming back for appointments, we book in right away when you're in the van. So we just can do that together. Um, but it's easy to do online to kind of set up your first appointment. Yeah. So tell me about the practitioners at Wheelie Clean, about the team. Um, now we have two full-time uh, dental hygienists and two vans also. So the two of us joke that we each have our own van. <laughs> um <laughs> Yeah, it's, just, it's a small little community. <laughs> so you're you're going through a hygiene appointment with someone and you see something in there. Like, you know, when we go to the dentist, they check your gums and your tongue and all around her. So what happens in your case if you see someone who has a potential issue going on? What do you do? Um, similar to if we were in a clinic, I would just refer you to either a specialist or I can send you to your dentist if you have a dental home, we call it. Um, we would just say that you kind of see something that's a little bit suspicious or worrisome and um, to go get that checked out. Yeah. If somebody said to you, I'm using your service because I can't find a dentist, uh, can you help them find a dentist for all the other work that they may want to have done? Absolutely. Yeah. We, um, we're kind of conglomerating a big list of all the dentals that we can refer to. Um, but most places now at least know about us. So they're a little bit happier to kind of share clients, um, do your hygiene with us and then do exams and x-rays and potential treatment with them. Yeah. I mean, there's seniors who maybe have had an entire lifetime full of trauma around going to a dental experience. This, this must be a game changer for them. It is for sure. We do, um, we do a lot actually with long-term care residencies. Um, and it's really nice to be able to bring this to them. Yeah. Uh, we're having a little bit of screen freeze. This isn't dental freezing. This is <laughs> screen freezing that's going on. Um, do you do work with people who have dentures? Is, is that a different kind of thing? Uh, no, we do that as well, for sure. Um, we can kind of test to see how things are fitting and like if it's comfortable and stuff like that. If things are, again, a little bit maybe off, then we'll say to go to your dental, dentist or denturist. But okay. we uh, still do that. And uh, health benefits. If people do have dental benefits, does that apply to your service? Absolutely. Yep. We direct bill. Um, like Haley was saying, there's also health spending accounts and things like that, which is interesting to kind of find when I'm the one dealing with it. Um, but yeah, we direct bill or take any sort of credit card, cash, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Cause if there's no benefits involved, you can just do it as like, like a, a transaction. Yes. Point of, yeah. Exactly. Okay. Do we need a referral from a dentist to go and see you or to have you come and see us rather? No. <laughs> I come see you yet. Yeah. Uh, no, you don't need one. Um, some clients are referred to us by their dentist because they have heard about us and they're too full, their schedule is too busy, um, but you don't need one to come. Yeah, cool. Okay. Uh, thank you, Zoe. This is really cool what you're doing, this whole taking the service to the people. We appreciate it. Thanks for being here. Thanks. Okay, next we're talking about wheelie clean. We're going to talk about cleaning your wheels next. Chamber Chats today, we're talking about people who have shifted their business to come to you instead of you having to go to them. So we heard about uh, acupuncture and massage treatments coming to your house or your office, uh, dental hygiene coming to your house or your office or someplace like that. How many times do you say to yourself, man, I got to get this vehicle clean, but I just haven't got the time. I haven't got the inclination to do it. That's where this company comes in. Jeff Crone is the guy who runs Figs Mobile Detailing. How are you? I'm well. How are you today? Good. Or should I just call you Fig? Uh, you can call me Fig, call me Jeff, whatever works. <laughs> Fig's your nickname, right? That's why this is on the company. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Yeah. And that whole story is on his website, by the way. Okay. Tell me about creating Figs as a business, about going to people to clean their vehicles. Yeah. I mean, it's a lifestyle choice. It's something that uh, I didn't even know existed. I pretty much created this business from nothing. And uh, I had a lot of guidance with uh, my wife and creating this business. And one day I just cleaned our cars and she's like, you should turn that into a business. And that was during the pandemic in 2021. And 
here I am today, three years later. So yeah, it's going well, quite well. I mean, it it makes so much sense that people are saying, well, I've got time for that. Well, they don't need the time because you come to them, right? That's correct. Yeah. And I also feel like I've removed a barrier of embarrassment for the clients as well. So they don't have to take their vehicle out of their property. And uh, they just are like, well, this person is dealing with it here and I don't have to take it anywhere. And then once they step back into their vehicle, they feel relaxed and they feel like they're in a better driving environment. So that's great. Yeah. doesn't matter how old the vehicle is. You kind of get that new vehicle smell back again, right? When you get done with it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. definitely. I had a, a conversation with a guy just this morning, actually, who said, I have had a very serious food spillage happen in my car and it's starting to get a little bit gamey. That's the kind of stuff you can fix though, right? Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. It's uh, definitely a very common thing. I think people underestimate how much times they've spilt the coffee or just even their water in their car and they have little crumbs and little extra little bits of uh, food that they've uh, dropped in between the seat and the console there. So yeah, that's a very common problem. Yeah, you've got a really interesting stat on your webpage about the number of something that you vacuumed up and we'll take a look at that when we send folks to your webpage. Okay, so walk me through booking an appointment with Figs. Uh, yeah, so we're at a point now where we've reached... Uh, um, a waitlist capacity. Uh, so I do have a team of technicians that are out in the community, as, as, including myself. And uh, so, so when you get on the website, you do have to uh, send an email or just call us directly and uh, we'll sort you out. Okay. Uh, does the size or the age of the vehicle factor into this? Uh, no, it just factors into like if there's additional things like pet hair or if we have to deodorize the vehicle, treat it with the ozone treatment, stuff like that. But for the most part, uh, I keep the services quite simple. And I, th I believe that that's what actually has made my uh, company quite successful in being booked up completely is because people aren't looking for a lot of additional services. They're just looking for a simple interior exterior cleaning. And obviously with that being the result of their vehicle looking and feeling brand new once we're complete. Without this being a really complicated question, what do we have to provide to you for you to come and do the service for us? Uh, we just require the sufficient space to do the vehicle and a water and power source, but everything else, like we have hoses, the electrical cords to get to the power, the power source. And uh, yeah, we have all the tools and everything just to successfully get the result you're looking for. Uh, so normally when people would get their vehicle detailed, whether it's at a dealership or other companies that do that, I haven't had it done for years, um, but there's, there's buffing and rubbing and rubbing compound and waxing and all that stuff. You do all that stuff too, right? Yeah. It just depends on, uh, what the environment is outside, like, uh, you know, if it's a really hot day, it's probably not the ideal state to be polishing a vehicle, but uh, we do, um, you know, bring a tent or something to cover the vehicle if we have to uh, do it on like a, you know, a day that's uh, 20 degrees or warmer, um, you know, ideals, it's, it, this is the ideal time is spring and fall to be getting those things done in your vehicle. But uh, because we don't have an environment where we can control the temperature, we really encourage people to book those services, you know, around this time or in the autumn. Yeah, there's probably seasonal things you deal with as well, like when sap is dripping on trees or something. There's times of years when birds seem to find my car more often than other times, but <laughs> you deal with that stuff too, right? Yeah, definitely. And I and you know, one thing to note is I do encourage people that do have bird droppings on their vehicles to wash them off right away because they can affect the paint to your car quite immensely to the point where you may have to get a paint correction. It was an old thing. I think it was on a t-shirt in like the 80s that said, I'm really glad that cows don't fly. Because that would just be a whole other <laughs> problem altogether. Yeah, um, so be... talk talk me about personal versus, you know, commercial or, or fleet of vehicles. How does that work? Yeah. So, um, you know, I, I do partner with a couple of companies that have me doing their fleet. Uh, that's just something that uh, spoke uh, between the business owner or the operations manager of that business and myself. But for the most part, we do uh, cater to residential personal vehicles. Um, what's the benefit of what happened in the pandemic is that a lot of people are working remotely and now they've made their home office into their main office. So, um, for the majority of my clients, a lot of it actually is business write-offs so for their vehicles. So that's been a, a huge benefit, I guess, coming out of the pandemic. Yeah. How long does it take to do a call usually if it's both interior and exterior? Uh, so for monthly subscription clients, they're usually up to two hours and that's a full interior exterior. But if it is a one-time service, uh, we usually give, um, a grace of four to five hours, uh, just because we don't know what we're coming into. All we kind of know is what they've told us uh, prior to the booking. So, but we uh, try to anticipate the worst. Um, I, you kind of have to, I guess. Hey, what are shanty, <laughs> zen, bliss, and euphoria? Yeah, so I just use that terminology to kind of give people more of a peace of mind when they're looking at services, because in the industry, um, most companies and this goes across the nation they use bronze silver gold packages so i kind of want to niche out and uh, kind of make people feel at ease when they're looking at my packages 
Uh, so, you know, like those are all like yoga terms, I would say, you know, like uh, Shanti actually means peace. And, you know, we all know what Zen is feeling and bliss is joy. So yeah, that's the, that, that was the meaning behind those, uh, those packages. Yeah. And you're very earth friendly and eco-friendly, sustainable with the stuff you use to the products, right? Yes, that's correct. What does it add to the value of, of a vehicle, of an aftermarket or a used vehicle to have it detailed the way you do it? Uh, I mean, we just have such a high standard for the result uh, that we achieve. And, uh, I believe that because that's the way we are, um, it brings everything to the, for that, for that vehicle owner operator, because then, uh, once again, that vehicle actually creates more of a friendly and positive driving experience for them. Okay. So you can find out more about this, uh, at the website, which is figsmobiledetailing.ca. Jeff, nice to see you again. I'll see you soon at a chamber event. Thanks so much, Bruce. Good to see you. And I want to say thank you again to Zoe Brunet, who is with um, Wheelie Clean. The website there is wheelieclean.ca. Zoe, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. And Haley Masters, the website for you guys is compassmassage.ca. Haley, thanks for being here. Thank you. You bet. And to close it off here, uh, Jeff and Figs was also nominated for a Chamber Business Award. Here's a video look at them. I'm Bruce Williams, and we'll see you again for another Chamber Chat. Figs Mobile Detailing is a complete mobile auto detailing service. And what we found was going to our clients' homes was saving them from not having to be inconvenienced without their vehicle and leaving their property. We come, we clean your car, we detail it, we make it look clean. But what we are really doing is giving you a sense of feeling behind the car that this is a good environment for you to be in, and Figs is just helping provide that feeling in your car while you're operating it. The name Figs came from my late uncle, and uh, it was a nickname that he gave me as a kid, and I just felt that it was a very friendly, approachable name that people can reference to when they want a good automobile detailing service. I mean, I mowed grass, I had a paper route, I've always been kind of somebody to separate themselves from the rest of the pack. I just feel like I have a personality that's meant to be shared in the community. I think that a lot of people love that off the lot, brand new car feeling. And the fact that we can bring that to your property is something that the customers really embrace.